Five Star Iris was formed in Atlanta, Georgia almost five years ago. They get confused, they say, well, Five Star Iris, but there are four of you. Well, actually, Five Star Iris is a kind of flower, a type of iris that traditionally grows well under adverse conditions, and if you know anything about the music business, it just seemed perfect. We're a straight ahead rock band, a uh, very positive message. It's about the song. We're not trying to take a song and make it the most interesting thing you can. Everybody can play their instruments. We're not angry. We're writing songs that are trying to say something. And uh, we're serious, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. It's a modern version of classic rock. We first got hooked up with the military from our friends in the band Collective Soul. Uh, the lead singer, Ed Rowland, called me one time and said, Alan, this was the most amazing thing I've ever experienced. You need to do this, and I'm going to do everything I can to, to make sure you experience this. first ever military experience we played was in, in Europe. We got to go to Europe. Maybe three months later, we went back and did Iceland in Italy. And next thing we knew, we got a call saying, hey, we have a tour for you. How do you feel about going to Iraq. I said, sure. I said, don't worry. We won't send you during the summer. Got the itinerary June 26th to July 20th. I don't think it hit below 120, but uh, it was a fantastic experience. They've, they've been awesome. I mean, it's not about politics. It's about people. These are Americans out there who are doing this job. And regardless of whether we like the way the outcome is or we like why they're there, they're still our own citizens that we all owe a responsibility to and so it's a small thing for us to do is to go and visit with them and really see what's going on and play you know for the troops. There are people out there doing a job to the best of their ability every day and we can come and play make people happy or give them a, a chance to just forget about where they are and what they're doing. I mean it's, it's awesome. How many people can say I played Cuba for New Year's? It's, it's amazing. We're crying out loud, we're going to Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. That's a place I'm not so sure I thought I would ever be. It's cold and rainy, and where we're going, it's going to be warm and sunny. High tech labeling system. That's a tough rock and roll band right there. Pink. Paint the mother paint. So it's pretty early in the morning, in case you're wondering. Here we are on our way to uh, NES Atlanta to catch a VIP shuttle down Woo! to Gitmo. I followed you down for the last time. You have been dismissed. Won't be around to save you from the lifetime that you missed. Your eyes shut so tight. Nothing left to fight about. I followed you down. Journey begins. Here we go. Another adventure. We're here in Guantanamo Bay. We've uh, we had a pretty good, chill flight down, which was very different than our Southwest Asia flights, which were on the noisy, leaky C-130s. But this is this is nice. I mean, check this out. We've got. I feel like I'm on a Disney Jungle Cruise. We're taking the boat across to the water to the base, and we're going to start the adventure. Uh, the lease with Cuba states that we have to abandon the base for them to take over the base again. So we had pretty much a skeleton crew here that was here to take over migrants that came through Cuba or were caught at sea by the Coast Guard. And then when 9-11 happened, they said, Cuba's a great place for us to keep the detainees because one, it's security-wise, it's almost impossible to get here. And two, you're in a legal limbo. You're not on American soil, so you don't get habeas corpus. That just worked out really well for, for the states to, de to detain them here. After being here for a day, the air seems nice, the scenery seems nice. I didn't know that the base was going to be as cut off from mainland Cuba as it apparently is. It's a more comfortable environment, uh, or relaxed environment, than the bases we've been on recently, which is understandable since the base we're on recently were in an active war zone. Yeah, the Summer in the Sandbox tour, we flew out, we uh, had a little stop in Amsterdam on our way to Kuwait, and uh, we went from Kuwait to Qatar, Bahrain, Djibouti in East Africa. We did three shows in Iraq and the United Arab Emirates. And it's pretty down and dirty. You know, we slept in tents. 
we saw rats, you know, you had to walk down the path to, to go to the bathroom. It was uh, unbelievably hot. We ate in the chow halls, my favorite being uh, the Bob Hope Chow Hall in Djibouti, which is just too cool. You get to learn about what everybody does and, and how everyone works together, and it's, it's amazing. We stayed in everything from really nice hotels to really not so nice barracks and kind of everything in between. Knowing when you're over in that part of the world and what's going on, making sure that the band has a deli tray and things like that isn't always top of the list and priority. So you just kind of go with the flow. And you get used to sleeping in the same room with a bunch of guys. You sort of suck it up in whatever idiosyncrasies or snoring. You get used to it, it doesn't really bother you. We got to uh, go out in the middle of the desert and hang out with a bunch of camels. Talk about a surreal experience sand as far as the eye can see. And I, I actually got pretty sick uh, the second day. Our guitar player then sang uh, Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. I came back out on stage, finished the show, went back, projectile vomited for a little longer, and then uh, went and did a meet and greet for an hour, projectile vomited some more. Show must go on. In Iraq and Al-Qaim, there was a, a guy that played drums and he was just dying to come up and play drums. The guy came up and played the Zeppelin tune and it rocked. It was pretty surreal. I, I got to go out into the crowd and I saw all his buddies just going nuts. A bunch of Iraqi soldiers are going nuts to the right. It was, it was quite a moment. We played an aircraft carrier at the bottom of Shard. That was one of the most incredible shows. I mean, it was in the hangar of the, uh, of the ship. Big, huge American flag behind the central plane. Everybody